In type 1 diabetes, there is total loss of beta cells in the pancreas. Whereas in adult kind of diabetes, type 2 diabetes, beta cells are still there and sometimes may even be hypertrophied or bigger in an attempt to make more insulin. Type 1 diabetes, also referred to as juvenile diabetes, happens when the immune system destroys beta cells in your pancreas. These are responsible for the manufacture of insulin. Insulin is a hormone that helps move sugar or glucose into one's body tissues. When the beta cells are affected, they can no longer produce insulin. This means that the glucose or sugars taken into the body cannot be absorbed by the cells, hence piling up in your blood. But if they just remain floating in the blood, then they can even cause you more problems. You, you waste away and you die. That is what diabetes is. Professor Otim says type 1 diabetes comes as a result of viral infection. He says it's common among young people because they are more vulnerable to contracting the viruses. This may be through things like food and the environment. When the viruses enter the body, they trigger the immune system to release hormones that accidentally start fighting the pancreas. It is an autoimmune disease, therefore, because those antibodies are made by ourselves, hence the word autoimmune, in an attempt to destroy uh, the, the viruses. During the advanced stages, the signs and symptoms of the disease in the patient are visible, as Dr. Otim explains. They eat a lot, but they don't gain weight. They keep on progressively losing weight. So you, that gives us another three W's, weight loss, wasting, and weakness. Yeah, I know, you, you, cannot even, you don't have to look for it very hard. Other probable symptoms include feeling very thirsty, passing urine more often than usual, particularly at night, feeling very tired, and loss of muscle bulk. This develop very quickly in young children. You as a parent will just be forced to know that your child is ill. Children are also vulnerable to another little known diabetes that damages the pancreas. And that is the chronic pancreatic diabetes, which is malnutrition related. Because of poor feeding, particularly with diets poor in proteins, we end up getting uh, calcification of the pancreas. Whereas type 2 is reversible through medication and a change of lifestyle, type 1 is only manageable through shots of insulin injected into the body. Dr. Otim says some local foods have been proven with the ability to heal the damaged beta cells in cases of type 2. Many of our foods, uh, or fruits, whatever, or even leaves for that matter, have been shown to be curative. Not, uh, if not curative, it, they help a lot in ameliorating the conditions we're talking about. Diabetes also leads to other lifelong health conditions like blindness, loss of libido in men, and kidney failure. Walter Mwesije, NTV.